Okay, guys and gals, today's video is on how to use your Gen 1 or your Gen 3 Pompano rig maker to tie a blood knot. And if you're new to surf fishing, what you're going to find is, is you need to use that blood knot to tie your, uh, in my case, 20 pound monofilament on my reel to a 50 pound monofilament, you know, probably at least, oh, I don't know, 15 foot of that. And that's going to allow me to cast that uh, five ounce sinker and my bait and uh, put all the power I want into it without breaking the line. If we didn't have that and we just used 20 pound test, we'd be in trouble. And, uh, you know, I, I did make a video called Tie a Blood Knot the Easy Way, but I think using this, um, in this case, this is an older Gen 3, but uh, the Gen 1 works just as well, too. Um, if you had a, a Gen 1 out on the ocean with you, and what I used to like doing is uh, I would take, uh, this is a Gen 1 here, but I would uh, attach this to my surf rod holder. Now, you know, your surf rod holder may be part of the cart and metal, so you'd have to get a piece of wood that's going to fit, you know, your surf rod uh, holder. And uh, what I like to do is... Uh, once I get a, a piece of wood that's fairly close, I would wrap a little bit of duct tape around it so it was a nice snug fit when I was operating it. But what this is going to do is, is you could drop this into one of your surf rod holders on the ocean, and uh, God forbid you ran out of rigs, you had to tie one up quick, uh, no big deal. Or uh, in the case of today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use this to super easily tie a blood knot you know, in case, you know, you get sharked off and you got to put a new 50-pound um, shock leader. So uh, let's get started. I'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, drop our surf rod in the uh, one of the empty surf rod holders in your cart and then cut off at least a 15-foot piece of 50-pound uh, uh, shock leader. And now we're just going to put those two together. And just make a loop and a simple knot. And pull those as tight as you can get it. Use pliers if you want or your teeth. You don't want it unraveling when we're doing this. And let's cut off the tag ends. Leave it, you know, quarter inch just so it doesn't unravel. I'll drop it onto your pompano rig maker, no matter which one you have, it's the same procedure. And put that knot on the top peg and hold it with your finger. Now let's take our 50 pound, 50 pound test and wrap it around to this clamp. And then grab our 20 pound and wrap it around on this clamp. And we're going to go with three spins. Uh, you can, might be able to get away with four if you had a 40 pound shock leader, but uh, I've got 50, so we'll go with three. So half one, half two, half three. And grab it, keep a little tension so it doesn't come off the uh, pegs. And get our spinner out of there. Try to tighten these up evenly. Okay, now let's get that off you know that's that's about as much as you're going to want to tighten it up right there and then let's go ahead and lubricate it the key here is is after you lubricate it you want to tighten it gradually you don't want to snap it if you snap it your 20 pounds going to break so go ahead put some pressure on it and you know it might take a, a few practices but that is exactly what you want right there. That's a nice tight knot. And uh, now we go ahead and, and we're going to leave, oh, I don't know. I like to leave about an eighth of an inch uh, when I cut that. And that way, you know, it's still going to go through maybe, maybe a hair less than an eighth. I don't want to cut it right to the knot because I don't want it to unravel. If you're not as tight, this thing won't budge. But don't be afraid to practice a little bit. Let's let's cut it off a little more so you can you can see there. You know that's about as much as I've I've got there. Let's see if I 
got that centered for you. Yeah. And that's all you need. You know, that's, that's the beauty of the, the blood knot. It's, uh, it's a nice tapered knot, and um, during a real hard cast, it's going to go through those eyelets nicely. And, and that's it. You know, you've got your your 50-pound shock leader on your 20-pound line, and you are ready to start fishing for Mr. Pompano again. And, you know, I, uh, I like having uh, a Pompano rig maker out on the ocean. You know, who knows? You 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 should have all your gear with you, everything you need to make a rig. That way, if you run out of rigs and you got to tie up a couple, you can, yeah. and and that'll that'll help you not only tie rigs, but if you get sharked off and you've got three surf rods that you've got to hurry up and get new shock leaders put on, it, it's going to help you do it quicker. Especially uh, you uh, guys and gals out there, the little older, and you. Uh, you know, you're having a little trouble with manual dexterity. It happens to the best of us, and and it's going to help you. That's the, the whole purpose behind the Gen 1 and Gen 3 for making the Pompano rigs is it's not as hard to do uh, in terms of manual dexterity compared to some of the boards where you've got to weave it with your fingers, and uh, I'm sure you've seen them out there. But uh, that's it. You know, you've, you've, got your, you've got your blood knot tied. You're ready to go. And uh, I hope this has helped you. If it has, please subscribe to the Pompano Brownie channel and give this video a thumbs up. And that'll do it for this video.